super excited to release this case study that you produced with us. Uh, you know, obviously, I just came came from the Shopify mastermind, and uh, you know, hearing about what makes viral content, it's like clickbait still works. And when you're able to say something in a headline of a of a case study about two hundred and forty two thousand dollars in one minute. Uh, it's it, it's a pretty powerful statement. So like I can't imagine what it must have been like, uh, you know, refreshing and seeing those numbers go up. Refreshing once maybe you, that you did in that minute when it was happening. But talk about the situation that led to that a little bit. You know, people will get all the details in the case study when they grab that. Uh, but just talk a, a thumbnail sketch about the fifth. It's I think it's such an interesting story. Yeah. Well, I mean, the way that the fifth worked. Uh, as a model and a buying mechanic was interesting. And I think we need to chat about that quickly first before we move into how exactly that happened. So yeah. what would happen is because we only sold on the fifth of each month for five days, uh, the other kind of 25 ish days of the month were just spent in lead generation. So we would just be capturing as many emails. Uh, well, like our funnel was basically like influencer marketing through to our Instagram, then hopefully becoming a follower as well through to signing up to become a VIP or, you know, to the wait list on our website to then purchasing on the fifth. So the way that we, the, the way that we were able to create a really compelling reason for someone to sign up was our website on the fifth was locked with a password. So you had to enter a password that you got via your email to then be able to shop on the fifth. So there was like that very compelling reason to sign up. And because the majority of our signups that we were driving weren't off, you know, things like here's, you know, like a downloadable with like an ebook or something. It was honestly people just actively signing up because they wanted our product. So being that much more kind of specific in our marketing, like, We've done campaigns where, you know, you give something away like a GoPro or something, you get 16,000 signups and it's like a dead list. You may as well not even bother emailing them if you're selling, you know, a watch or something because yeah. people they want the GoPro. It's not necessary. Yeah. The only thing you could do is like maybe give that data to GoPro or something. Uh, I wouldn't bother. So no. it was how warm those leads were uh, once they were signing up and going through that lead nurturing process from engaging with that influencer that they already, you know, feel like they know and trust to going to our page, then following us, feeling as though they've already, you know, performed some sort of action toward building a relationship with our brand um, to then going to our website and signing up because they like the product and they want what they can't have. <laughs> it was just this really interesting, very different funnel to almost all other companies I've kind of seen. Yeah, it's counterintuitive in a way. We did a similar thing with our last mastermind where we we gated it with a very with like a twenty question you know application to even be able to buy it, and that's not a revolutionary concept by any means. But this sounds like it was. It sounds like you kind of like broke a lot of the rules, and in doing so, created a really cool model. You were saying even the idea of only selling for the first five days was also an accident. Yeah. So. We were called the fifth, um, we were just called the fifth, uh, basically. Alex called me, my co-founder, once we had the idea, and he was like, what should we call the brand? And I was on Fifth Avenue in New York at the time. And I was like, the fifth? I don't know. Um, and then we just stuck on that. We are like, okay, cool, that sounds good. Let's run with it. You know, brand names aren't that important. Like, Uber's called Uber, that means nothing. Well, you know, it means two in German or whatever. Like, okay. too much, too cool, whatever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so basically we are like, yeah, the 5th, sure. So then we got delivered the watches on like the 2nd of December and we were like, okay, cool, let's get them up and sell them. But it was Alex's birthday on the 5th. And so we were like, that would be a nice birthday present to launch, you know, it was his first brand uh, and to do that on his birthday. And also we were called the 5th. So we were like, let's launch on December 5th. And then we had a wait list of, I think, about 8,000 around 8,500 signups um, and we had 1,200 watches to sell. And we we're like, you know, like we went up in this eighth of our database, so we're all good. So we launched and we basically sold out in that day. So then we were like, oh God, like one of my favorite things in marketing, well, there's two here, is turning something that was accidental into something that looked deliberate. 
uh, and kind of, I guess, spinning it in that way yeah. and turning a negative into a positive, being like, okay, like it might seem like a terrible thing that we sold out, but actually this is what makes our brand so exclusive and exciting. So we're called the fifth. We only sell on the fifth of each month for five days or until sold out previously, whether that's five minutes or whatever. So that was kind of the way that the sales model came about by accident. And then you, over a year's time, you're able to build up this model, gain the momentum to the point that the following year, around the same time, you were able to generate that insane amount of cash in a, in a very short time. How how was it? How was it fulfilling that? Like, have you have ever had issues with the volume of sales sales that you're producing in such a short time to 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 be able to fulfill these orders? No, we were totally fine by then. Like, because I'd already had you know Skinny Knee Tea, for example, and other e-com companies, I knew all the.